This is one of the best trail bikes I have literally ever been on. Here we got the Fantic 1.7. Just in case you've never heard of Fantic, let me explain. It's an Italian brand, Fantic XMF 1.7. First thing you need to know is the suspension is very linear. My first lap on this bike was on some blue flow trails and it felt awful. So I went home, had some lunch, watched a couple YouTube videos. Normal en la X500, pesadita, pero bueno, muy buena. Una cosa que me olvidaba. Acuérdate de darle su Viene con la Liris Ultimate. And then I read the manual. The manual says to run 25% sag front and rear. Before I headed out to the mountains, I pumped the fork up to 25% sag and the rear shock to 25% sag. I was climbing up the road and everything was going great. The Fantic bikes have the super powerful Brose motor. Same as the Specialized Levo and the Kinevo. Super strong, 90 newton meters of torque. One of the strongest electric mountain bikes on the market, as far as torque goes. On my climb up to the trail, I ran into some snow. I quickly discovered how tall the bottom bracket, the center point of the bike was. The pedals clear through this snow trough quite good. After fighting the snow for about a quarter mile, I turned around and I found this deer path. Wow, the Fantic is super nimble. The combo of high ground clearance and short wheelbase makes this bike a real billy goat. Once I got on the trail, I started climbing up the trail to find the snow line. <laughs> wow, this is one of the best trail bikes I have literally ever been on. I'm coming to realize this e-bike is a unicorn. I'll dig into the geometry later to discover why. Once I found the snow line, I turned around and started downhill. I was super impressed by the bike again. It's long travel, 170 millimeters front and rear. The bike plows nasty, rocky, rooty sections with ease. What makes this bike a unicorn is it's simultaneously super poppy and playful with having that long travel. On the roughest sections of trail, 25% sag, the rear suspension is pretty bottomless. Everything is not normal with this bike. First of all, Fantic calls it an all mountain bike but it's longer travel than a lot of current enduro bikes. It's got a super short wheelbase. It's almost like an old Santa Cruz Nomad. Long travel, short wheelbase. The head tube angle is 64.5, which is pretty damn slack. It's got mixed wheels. I think that's the only way they could get away with the short wheelbase and long travel. One bummer is the bike only comes in three sizes. Let's get back to the trail. This trail is pretty gnarly and it's known to eat wheels. And the bike is pretty capable overall. There is certain moments where that 27.5 wheel and short wheelbase gets you knocked off course. I ended up having so much fun on this bike. It's super responsive, playful, and jibby. I decided to head back to the Blue Flow Trail to get some redemption. It jumps fairly good and it's maneuverable for an e-bike. The bike felt more composed with 25% sag. The Fantic's not perfect. You're gonna have to stay tuned because I already had to take it apart. <laughs> 